Hello you wonderful weirdos and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today we are jumping straight into bullet journaling and set out the pages for the month of April. Here I am gluing the pages together since I found that having thicker pages for the calendar helps me find the page better. I also did a few sketches of different layouts to give me an idea on how to plan my spreads. Here I'm going to use a few roses with eyeballs that I drew already and cut out. Considering my journal has 10 pages, I figured it was best to draw my images beforehand on a separate piece of paper. If you like these roses and would like to use them for your own project, or you want to see how I drew them, leave a comment down below and if there are enough requests, I will post another video. So I'm adjusting the rows for the right position, but there is a bit of extra petal that I don't like because it's a bit off balance, so I'm cutting that off. But I immediately regretted my decision, now it looks worse, but no biggie. I will glue them next to each other on the page. So once I found the right position, I used the blunt edge of the knife to create a crease. This will divide the image into halves, make it easier for me to stick the rows to the middle of the spread. So first I glued one half, made sure that the crease lined up to the fold of the book. Then I put the glue on the other half of the paper, but before sticking it to the page, I used the knife again to push the paper into the crease and then stick the other half to the page. I repeated the same with the extra petal that I cut off and now I have a seamless page. If you haven't guessed already, I am doing a circular calendar again. And while I love this type of layout for my monthly calendar, I still need a traditional calendar format to give me a better idea of the upcoming weeks. By the way, if you would like to know what pens I am using in this video, check out the description down below. Now it's math time. With a circular calendar, you need to find the circumference of your circular image and divide that number into how many days you have in the month. How I did it, I measured the diameter of my rows, adding a centimeter on each side. I will show you why later in the video. My diameter is approximately 13 centimeters. Then I went on a circumference calculator website and typed in the measurement of the diameter to find the circumference number. Mine is 40.84. Then I took the measurement and divided it by 30 because April has 30 days. Then I wrote down the answer and mine happens to be 1.36 cm. Using scrap pieces of black paper, I drew a line and marked every 1.3 cm. This will be how wide the triangles are going to be. Then I drew another line 1.5 cm away. This will be the height of the triangles. And once again, mark 1.3 cm along the line and connect the dots diagonally. You should have a box of triangles inside like mine. With the method I used, it will help me cut the triangles with less effort. Don't worry if you can't figure out how I did this, just make the triangles your own way as long as they are 1.3 cm wide, or whatever number you calculated beforehand. Alternatively, you can always draw the triangles straight away on the page. Then I draw a circle around the flower, making sure that it is the original diameter of 13 cm, and then I am putting the triangles on the line around the flower. Remember when I said I added a centimeter extra to the diameter? This is so the triangles will sit further away from the flower and make it look like it has a halo around it. Then I took my sweet sweet time to gluing the triangles, except the ones that overlap the leaves. I have a different plan for them. For the other pieces of triangles, I traced around them where they met with the leaves and then filled them with black marker. This will make it look as if the shapes are on the back of the leaves rather than on the front, giving it a better look to the design. Then I mark the days of the month on each and every point of the triangle. Since I already have a small rectangular overview of the calendar, I didn't feel the need to put in the initials of the day of the week. However, I did separate each week with the dots in between the triangles. Then I added extra elements to the design to round up the look. Next spread is the monthly expenses. I have already used this layout twice before in this journal and you can check them out in my previous videos. I found this monthly expenses spread to be very helpful with having an overview of all the things that I'm spending on and keep me conscious of where my money is going. So of course I will keep using this layout for now. 
I admit that I have done a few design mistakes with this spread regarding the header, but I kept the mistakes there just to remind me what not to do in my next design. So for the next spread, which is my to-do list, I'm going to stick more roses and oh my god, how many mishaps I'm having this month. No biggie. Easily fixed. Just stick that leaf with the other there. As if it didn't happen. Where were we? Ah yes. I'm sticking another rose to the corner and then I divided the spread into six sections. Three on other side. Here I'll be jotting down tasks that I need to do throughout the month and organize them in the right section. Every time I do my daily schedule, I look back at the spread and see which tasks I have left to do. I found this spread to be very helpful, better than the goals page, because I am converting my goals into action, which makes them easier for me to achieve, and thus I'm being more productive. And last but not least, the weekly and daily page. I want to try out a different weekly layout on one page and have daily pages. I have only tried this once and I wasn't a fan because I didn't have a good overview of the week, so it made it a bit difficult for me to plan ahead. However, I'm trying to give this another try, especially since I have more tasks during the day and I need more space to write them down. I will let you know how it goes in the next month's video. Then I'm going back to my previous month and year log to check any upcoming events and appointments to mark them down on my calendar. And finally, the spreads for the month of April are ready. I am still very new to bullet journaling, so I'm aware that my designs and writing aren't as neat as I'd like them to be and they're not the best. I'm still having the sketchy artist in me, but I do enjoy experimenting with different themes and layouts. Do let me know what you think about this month's video. I hope for the month of April things get better, especially with what is going around in the world. I am doing my best to provide more content for you guys so you would have something to watch and hopefully be inspired as well to be productive and creative in these hard times. Don't forget, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and support this channel by leaving a lovely comment and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. You guys be safe, stay inside if you can, if you can't, be extra vigilant and I see you guys in the next video. Bye my weirdos!